Jaden, our uh, first time talking to you. Just uh, what went into your decision to, to transfer from Temple and, and picking Virginia Tech? How did that whole process play out? Um, well, my biggest thing with me transferring from Temple was, like, I had a good rapport with my staff, a um, good relationship with everybody there, my whole team. Um, but the biggest thing that led to me um, leaving from there was because of the quarterback situation we were struggling with for the past two years. I uh, had a lot of success there in 2019, started off 2020. Uh, like leading almost the nation and uh, receiving touchdowns and the whole nine. Uh, but uh, after the third game, my quarterback, Anthony Russo, had gotten hurt. And then after that, like from there, for going forward after that third game when we played Memphis, everything kind of went downhill from there. Always been healthy, always been good. But uh, quarterback-wise, we just were struggling very bad at Temple, you know what I mean, which led to uh, this decision as well. It was 2021 it went into, and it was more so the same. What were those early discussions with Virginia Tech like? They, they, did, they didn't really have a settled quarterback position here either. I'm curious, uh, what does Coach Pry tell you about uh, the situation here and, and what kind of sold you on it? Um, well, one of the biggest things when I was talking with Coach Glenn, um, just I got a very good, genuine vibe and good conversation from him. Um, I love Coach Glenn. Um, then it was just so many different connections uh, along the way. Um, relations with Tebow um, going all the way back to like my high school coach knowing them. So it was just a lot of things. Um, even my offensive coordinator at Temple uh, talked about, uh, talk with Tebow just about how good of a player I was and how he wanted to see me be used. Like everybody there wants nothing but the best for me. Um, so it was just a lot of, um, it was just so much connections and so much um, good going into it. Then on top of it, my friend um, Jahan uh, was really close with Coach Pry, um, which helped me out with this decision as well. Um, but I know it's, it's the best decision I could have made. Was it hard when you look at your kind of career numbers where you had that breakout season in 2019 and, you know, 1,000 yards and all that, and then the drop-off? <laughs> was it hard for you to kind of go through that and, and ha experience that where balls weren't coming away, the offense was struggling? How hard, and and for, for two years, not just yeah. like a, a stretch, yeah. how hard was that? Um, that, I ain't going to lie, that was probably like one of the more difficult things that happened to me over my career. Um, of course, there's been difficult things, but that was very frustrating. You know what I mean? Me just being a leader and trying to continue to rally guys around and having such a young team and having some guys probably feeling like they got years to get this together. But, you know what I mean? Me feeling like after 2019, 2020, I told myself this was my last year. You know what I mean? So then it's, we're in 2022 now. So, you know what I mean? The frustration is there, but I always made sure that I handled myself um, very uh, responsibly. You know what I mean? I made sure that guys knew, and they didn't really see the frustration on my behalf because at the end of the day, that would only make things much worse. You know what I mean? You can ask anybody in there. I never uh, got into any – Alter everything was all good on my behalf. A lot of times you see, you know what I mean, big time players who get frustrated and you know what I mean, but that's not who I am. I just want to make sure that guys understood that, you know what I mean, I'm here for you guys and I'm gonna keep balling as, as far as long as I can. So uh it was frustrating for real, but I mean I'm happy. Um I know God has a plan for me and I know that um this was a part of the plan. So you envisioned going pro with another big season? You know, that was kind of your dream? And then yeah, 2020, I was going to leave. I was out. My <laughs> coaches knew and everything. Like, it was like, hey, Jaden's gone. I told him. And so now, flash forward two years, I mean, do you feel, like, obviously, it sounds like you have a sense of urgency here to yeah. sort of get back on track. Yeah, it's definitely a sense of urgency here. And, I, and it was kind of, like, understood. Um, I feel like they felt the same sense of urgency I did, especially when I was talking with Coach Tebow um, when I went into making the decision. Like, he had the same urgency that I did. Like, yeah, we got to get you going. Like, come on now. Like, it's, you know what I mean? This is, he made it a priority of his um, to make sure that I, I, I get back to it. He knows, I, you know what I mean, the capabilities I have. Speaking with my offensive coordinator at Temple and everything, Coach Yurimovich, um, he said, yeah, we, we, we talk. Like, we got to get you going. And we know we're going to have a good situation here. What do you feel like, how, how would you describe your game? And what do you feel like you bring to the table? Um. Well, my game, I feel like I haven't even been able to fully show my game. Like, I can I can catch anything and everything. My radius is all over the place. But I feel like one of my biggest things is, like, me being able to break away from defenders while running routes to be able to create a lot of space. But, you know, I mean, you're not able to do that if you don't have, like, the best quarterback in the world. Not to put that on anybody else, but, you know, there's – you know what I mean? It, it depends on where the ball is being placed. So, like, I figure um, – 
I know that this year, you know what I mean, God, God willing, I'll forever stay healthy, that I'll be able to continue to do that. Um, but even show more, way more um, capability that I will be able to uh, bring to NFL or a team that picks me. You you mentioned the quarterbacks. What's it been like? Obviously, there's a lot of quarterbacks in the room. Yeah. But what's the building relationship process been like with, with you and all, all those different guys? Okay, so, like, Grant, you know what I mean? I started off with Grant because Grant, like, I was trying to um, – like we were, he basically was picking me up back and forth uh, before I had ended up going home for a while to miss because of you know what I mean family stuff. But basically that's that that relationship started then. And then when I came back, Jason kind of was like picking me up, dropping me off like in between. So like the, that's them. That's where my relationship started with the quarterbacks, with just both them guys just being you know what I mean generous and making sure they took care of me on that behalf. Um, just those little things, um, but then on top of it, just watching these guys, how they work in the weight room and stuff like that. We've just been building that relationship more and more through, you know what I mean, 707. And now, of course, we're in, in the middle of spring ball, so you're really able to see who you're dealing with at the quarterback position. What stands out to you about those guys? Um, one thing about them, they're, they're both, like, very, like, different in how they approach things. Like, Jason is very, like uh, – like more, he's more a little bit more playful, you know what I mean, in, in the way he is. But he still gets, he still knows he's on his p's and q's when he's out there. Um, Grant is very like, um, I don't even know how to describe it. He's like very um, poised and calm all the time, you know what I mean. He rarely shows emotion, but at the same time, like his because of that, like he doesn't seem to like. Like, he's never going to show a bad face. Like, it's kind of it's, – it's a really good thing to see that from him because at the end of the day, um, you got a, 10 other guys on the field that are looking at you. You know what I mean? And he always has that good look in his eyes. Like, you know everything's going to be okay. But Jason's also so lighthearted that you like, all right, we ain't even, never really going to take it too – you know what I mean? A bad play too big um, to the heart. So, both of those guys are different, but they both can sling the ball very well. Like, both of them. What, what stood out what, – what's Coach Minds like? As a coach, how would you describe him? And, and what stood out to you about just, um, you know, what he's trying to get you guys to do, in, you know, in the first six, seven days of, of you know, spring practice? Mm, coach Mons is very um, – he's very similar to uh, my old coach, uh, Coach Ward. Um, but at the same time, Coach Mons is, like, he's very different in a way. Like, he he funny, but at the same time, some like, he'll get serious. He – but he, he demands a lot from us, you know what I mean? He expects us to be young men and understand what we got going on. Um, from play perspective, everything, he wants us to give 100% effort, 100% detail on everything, you know what I mean? He's very hard on us, but at the same time, he understands, like, you know what I mean? When it always comes down, he's like, I understand, that was a lot. I kind of put on y'all. But he, he still demands it, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, he wants the, the, the best from us and from the room. Have they moved you around at the receiver spots? Do you do any slot stuff outside specifically? or Yeah, slot and inside. Um, primarily outside whenever we go 12 personnel, stuff like that. Is there one you're, you're a spot you're more comfortable with? Uh, I mean, there? the slot. I've been playing slot ever since I've been in college, so I'm more comfortable there. You mentioned Coach Mines always expecting, you know, he, he kind of like expects greatness. Like he expects you guys yeah. to, to to get down, even though it is a lot. H have you felt like you've improved a lot since you've been here? Like, have you, can you feel how much you've improved yeah. because of him? Yeah, I feel like um, one of the biggest things that well, my my transition has been a little bit different just because of like some of the time that I had to miss. But overall, like I feel a. a a quick turnaround and if that makes sense like because of him you know what i mean the way he's helping me he's taking care of me on my body wise you know what i mean on that behalf not giving me too much not doing this but of course now i'm i'm, I'm back into the, the full groove of everything but um coach Mons is a coach and the way that we're developing and, and it's it's funny to say but like I'm, I, I can only see myself getting so much better because of them. You know what I mean? Like, we're we're only a few weeks into this thing, but just seeing how they coach, seeing how they incorporate everything, seeing the details that he wants from me and the guys around, you know what I mean? We're going to have a really good really good group. Have any of the, the other guys in the room jumped out to you in any way? Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the first guys that stuck out to me was D-Lo, um, Dwayne. Um, yeah, he's, he, he's going to have a phenomenal year. Um, Jay Jones, uh, Dalen, 
Of course, you know what I mean, the older guy, Caleb, he's been he's consistent doing what he has, but those are the young guys that have really stuck out to me. Uh, we've got one on Zoom. Tim? Jayden, you just mentioned Daywan Lofton as a guy who you think is going to have a big season. What have you seen from him in practice as a player and his mentality um, that makes you confident in that? Um, he, the, the, like, he reminds me of myself, like, so much. Like, when I look at him and I, I – I gravitated towards him early on because I could tell. I'm like, okay, he cares. Like, that's one of the first things you need to be able to look guys in the eyes and see that he really cares, like, about what he has going on. He cares about football. He care This isn't something that he's doing just because it looks cool. So that, that was one of the biggest things that I saw out of him. Um, and going forward, it shows in the way he works, the way he competes, the way he does everything. So um, that's one of the biggest things I would take away from uh, D'Lo is – is that he reminds me of my a younger version of myself a lot. So I, I know that success will come to him.